Hey, how's everyone doing? Um, the Sonny here. Today I'm going to show you how to install an external hard drive to your PS4 Slim. Uh, I think regular size, regular PS4 works the same way. Uh, with the Slim, there are no USB uh, out, uh, input in the back. So we have to use one of the two front USB input in the front. Uh, right now, this one I have it. Uh, connected to my uh, remote control uh, for charging uh, so I'm going to move this here to here I'm going to use the end one for my external drive um, the slim uh, the storage space very little with the new games now you probably can only get about one or two games on uh, on the internal hard drive with the slim so uh, we need external drive and this is what I bought. Um, it's a WD external hard drive. I got from Amazon. It's four terabyte. Um, so, and this is USB 3.0, which is what the requirement is for the uh, PS4. And um, I'm gonna open it up, and we're gonna walk through the process on installing it. Oh, by the way, this is uh, about 100 bucks right now. I pay 105 bucks for this. Um, it's getting. I think it used to be 150 bucks and then dropped down to 120, 130 range. Now it's down to like almost 100 bucks next to nothing for ter 4 terabyte, which is a great deal. So I'm going to unbox it and let's check it out. So I want to take out the hard drive out of the box. It's in a little plastic case and uh, with the instruction. And there's also a uh, USB cord, so we're going to open that up. So I took the hard drive out of the box very portable and uh, it comes to the cable that hooks up there's a USB 3.0 from your hard drive to the PS4 and the little instructions on how to do that uh, but I want to show you how to do all that so we're gonna plug this in in the back here And I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to connect it. Just like that. As you can see now, I'll turn on the uh, PS4 on the top it says discover a new device. So right now what I'm going to do is Go to setting. And then we're going to go to device. And go to, uh, first thing we want to do, we want to format the hard drive. Uh, USB storage unit, storage devices. You'll see the gaming device. Hit enter or X button. And you have two options here. One option is stop using this USB storage device. Um, when you want to take the um, hard drive out, uh, and take it somewhere else. You want to do this first before you take before you unplug it from your USB Before you unplug it from your PS4. Okay, but right now we want to format the external drive So we're going to select the second option format as extended storage You can install applications in extended storage. However, save data screenshots and video clips will be saved only in system storage I'm going to click next this, this device will put formatted as extended storage. When you format this device, all data on it will be deleted. I'm going to click, click Format. And it'll do its thing. This device will be formatted as extended storage. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. And it's formatting. And now it has been formatted. Application will now be installed extended storage. 
To stop using extended storage, press and hold the US button to display the quick menu and then select sound device, stop using extended storage. That's a shortcut you can do to uh, disconnect your hard drive from your PS4. So we're we'll gonna click OK. So now it's ready. We'll go back in previous screen. So the next thing we want to do is that we want to start moving um, uh, games to the external hard drive. So we're going to ex uh, go back to previous menu. And on this device is storage. We're going to click that. And you'll see it now that uh, my system storage, you know, 408 gigabytes is almost full. I can't even install any more games. So I don't have two games on it. Uh, external storage, plenty of space. And you'll see the option say applications in, uh, install location. That will means that all your game from now on will be installed on the extended storage when you are installing new games. And you can change it by clicking the option button on your remote control. Uh, you can change that if you like, but we want to escape that. Uh, we're gonna leave this, this as default, and we're gonna. Uh, enter and go into system storage applications uh, let's just move some game and move a slower game a smaller game the semi showdown it's 1.55 gigs so I'll select it and hit the X button okay I'm sorry not the X button you hit the option button on your remote control and you'll see the option pop up to move to extended storage or you can delete it. We're going to move it by clicking the X button on your remote control. And we can select different various games to move. But I just want to show you with just one game. So I selected uh, Samurai Showdown 4. I mean, I'm sorry, Samurai Showdown 6. And then we're going to Move your cursor to the move button and click X. Are you sure you want to move it? Yes. Click OK. And that is done. And the game is moved from system storage to external hard drive. You no longer see Semi Showdown 6 on this application screen under the system internal drive. Escape back out to previous menu. Escape the previous menu. And uh, if you go down to extended storage and click the X button and select application, and you will see Semi Showdown 6 now in the extended external drive and that is it it's a simple process uh cost you about 100 bucks to get the external drive and you can have a lot more space without deleting your current games and thanks for watching talk to you guys later bye